Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on our single arm heavy club inside pendulum. The single arm heavy club inside pendulum is an exercise that every athlete should do. Everybody who's not an athlete, anybody who's generally alive and standing up should do this exercise. Cleans are an incredibly important part of athletic training, getting a weight from the ground up to shoulder height. You do it with a barbell, you do it with a dumbbell, you do it with a kettlebell, you do it with a club. The things that clubs do better than everything else is the thing that separates humans from everything else. The way our shoulder moves and the way we can rotate allows people to do things like throw objects. Throwing objects is the basis of sport. It's also the basis of hunting, which allowed humans to become humans. You should practice some version of clubs because you can do the rotation cleans that are nearly impossible to do with barbell, that are much harder to do with kettlebell, and that are very hard to do with dumbbell. Inside means moving towards our center line. Outside would mean moving away from our center line. The center line being the gig line of your body, inside, outside. Think inside is the precursor to the movement pattern of a cross. Think outside is a jab movement pattern. You should practice all four of those directions, inside, inside, outside, outside, equally with the same weight. You should have no strong side. Step up to your club, two feet point straight ahead. That is key because when we rotate, if we start with our feet turned out, it does weird things to our knees as we add load. Thumb point up. Thumb points down, grab the club, get your club up to order position, put your elbow on your body. If there is a gap with a heavy weight, it becomes very hard to do. With a light weight, you can do anything. With a heavy weight, you have to have good technique. Move inside, starting from your legs first. Feet pointed straight ahead, rotate the body. Hips move 45 degrees, upper body moves another 45 degrees. Inside, down, come back up, catch, rotate back to center. Hips, upper body, push, swing, pull, and catch. Now let's get a little bit more rotation at the bottom. Hips, upper body, push, swing, pull, look at the club, and catch. When you put the weight down, straighten your arm out all the way, set the weight all the way down. The bottom is the hard part. When you do the top, shoulders are square, feet are straight ahead, feet do not move. Do not move, do not shift, do not do any of that. They do not move. If your feet move, it means that you are lifting one foot up. It's changing the way your hip works, that changes the way your spine works. Feet are straight ahead, sit in one leg. It will be the same side leg as the hand holding the weight. If your hand is holding the weight, sit in that same side leg then rotate that upper body another 45 degrees. Body, feet, they are rotated 90 degrees to each other. Push, elbow lockout, tip, go down. At the bottom, we would like to try to rotate our chest towards the weight. Depending on how heavy the weight is, that gets harder or easier. Point your chest generally at the weight. Swing back up, stand up, pull the elbow to the body and catch. An easy way to learn to do this is to do this with two hands first. Thumbs point towards the sky, stack your hands on top of each other. Let's do the other direction. When we rotate, we push. Two arms would lock out. Tip swing. At the bottom, you can see the chest is pointed towards the club. If one elbow is bent, then you are not doing it properly yet. Two elbows lock out. That's how far you should rotate. Swing back, come up, stand square sit in the same side leg as the top leg. Rotate, rotate the upper body. Push, swing all the way down, pull and catch. When you're rotating all the way, you can move to sword fingers on the bottom of the club. <sighs> Are we still in the same position? This hand is now doing all the work. This hand is just there to make sure that you are rotating all the way. Eventually, take the bottom hand away. <laughs> 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 
stand all the way up at the end of the catch. On the legs, you can have soft legs on the catch, but make sure you stand all the way up at the top, squeeze your glutes. Like all cleans, this is a core exercise. When you push and you swing that heavy weight and you swing back, your pelvic floor is trying to fire. You are rotating. As you catch, you have a weight on one side of your body. The heavier the weight, the harder these abs contract. Think that there are at least four core contractions for every one rep. Stability at the top, the rotation, twisting of the transverse abdominis, push as you swing across the bottom, pelvic floor is stabilizing, come back up, pull, lat engages to decelerate the weight, rotate back to center, abs fire. Many people in the modern world have back pain. A huge percentage of the population, it's 60 to 70% has some type of chronic back pain. For the most part, that has to do with the core simply not working correctly because we don't work with our hands the way we used to. We used to work at physical labor, pick something up with one hand, it was a weight, our body stabilized and we did it tens of thousands of times a day. Now we sit in chairs and our core doesn't do a lot. We pick up pencils, we pick up pieces of paper, we pick up folders, but we don't pick up machine parts. We don't pick up hammers, we don't pick up lumber, we don't pick up farming implements. If you have back pain, it is absolutely essential that you train your body on either side of your spine. That means you train each hand equally as much. You start with a lightweight, you get in 300 reps a day, and then you move to a heavy weight over time. There are a ton of programs based on this. It doesn't matter how you got back pain. For the most part, movement is medicine. Movement with tractionary club swinging load is even better. Everybody should do it no matter what your age, no matter what your sport. You should pick up a heavy club, you should learn the fundamentals, you should write it down, and you should get five to 7% better every day for the rest of your life.